The Tabernacle Choir and Orchestra at Temple Square present a Music and the Spoken Word Heritage Special, Working in Harmony. Conducting today's program are Mac Wilberg and Lyon Murphy, with organist Richard Elliott, and the spoken word by Lloyd Newell.
Most of the world's best work is done by teams, whether at school, in the office, on the stage, or on the ball field. The most effective teams deliver the best performances. Learning how to succeed means learning how to work together, and life provides so many great opportunities. We are born into families, our first team, which at its best offers support, guidance, and love. We attend school in classes, teams of sorts, where we learn alongside classmates and play a role in each other's success. We enter the workforce and realize that we have limitations, but our co-workers have strengths that compensate, just as our strengths can complement others' weaknesses. And in an even broader sense, we are all part of the same human family, learning together, working together on the same team. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. in an address at Oberlin College wisely said it this way, all life is interrelated and we are all caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. And you can never be what you ought to be until I am what I ought to be. In other words, we need each other. Even the most skilled individuals can't match what happens when a team of people with different skills caringly collaborates. Anciently, the Apostle Paul compared our varied gifts to the different parts of the human body. We do best when all the different parts are working in harmony. Paul's wisdom has great application to every person and every team. There should be no division in the body, but the members should have the same care one for another. And if one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Imagine what our world would be like if we had the same care one for another, if we saw each other as members of the same team. To paraphrase Dr. King's words from another well-known speech, it would be a dream come true.
This performance continues the 94th year of continuous broadcasting of this historic program. Please join us next time for Music and the Spoken Word. Until we meet again, may peace be with you this day and always. Till we meet.